10 400-yard passing games, first and 10. Passes caught at the 30, the 20, the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Simba Webster. And Eastern explodes from the first play from scrimmage and puts six points on the board. I think overall, uh, as a fan, as an Eagle, and as a coach, I thought uh, from, from start to finish, I think it was a very solid football game. Uh, there's obviously a ton of things we can work on. Uh, a few of those things are penalties, turnovers, uh, things that we kind of cause ourselves to, to, to inflict some wounds on our own, uh, on herself. Um, some things those are going to happen uh, when you talk about the first game of the year. Uh, but as we get, get along with the season, guys are going to fine tune themselves. Uh, teams are going to be better off, and you're not going to be able to dig out of some of those holes uh, that we dug ourselves into this year. But that's a great Central Washington football team. Coach Shue uh, has nothing uh, to hang his head, head about or, or, or around because they're, they're going to be just fine. Riley's a competitor. We have a quarterback that's got experience that is a competitor. He'll uh, rally the troops, and they'll be just fine. So uh, we just happen to have a pretty good three hours of football in, in our first game. And the crowd is amazing. Uh, it's nice to be on campus for that first day. Uh, being Labor Day weekend at home. So, uh, and, and we did what we set out to do, and that's protect the Reds. So at the end of the day, uh, we want to be undefeated at home, and it starts uh, the first game, which we're 1-0, and then we'll move on to, to next week tomorrow when we wake up. Like that? Honestly, two days ago, uh, he came up to me and was like, oh, um, are you ready to score a touchdown? I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, it might be a touchdown to you, first play. <laughs> and then I'm like, I mean, if it happens, it happens, then I'm not, I'm not going to expect too much. But if it happens, it happens. <laughs> it did, so <laughs> kind of crazy. But yeah. <laughs> We moved Simba inside from outside last year, and uh, he's going to be kind of our factotum. I know that's a big word, uh, but he's going to be kind of our Swiss Army knife as far as moving him around, getting him in certain matchups, because he's a guy that can carry the ball if we need to, uh, run reverses if we need to, put him in on safeties if we need to, put him into the boundary, singled up on a corner if we need to. He's kind of been there, done that. and so. He, he, we're going to challenge him as the season wears on. Uh, but I think you saw some of the explosion. And again, when you're matching him up with safeties because you're putting him on the inside of the formation, uh, that, that, can, that can be a bonus to us. And so uh, teams will now prepare for, for, for us, but for him um, at times. And uh, we'll need to counter punch with, with certain tactics. But uh, all in all, I think Simba did a great job. Uh, stayed in bounds. A big thing for us is not going out of bounds. So fighting for extra yardage, no matter what the circumstances are. Uh, and I think uh, Gage and him uh, felt really good, and there was good connectivity between the two of them. But, uh, uh, but that's not to short any of the other receivers uh, or Sam McPherson around the ball. I think all in all, I think it was a very, very solid, uh, solid day at the office for that offensive uh, unit. And, and the uh, defense in the second half was absolutely amazing. Anytime you put up a zero in the second half or any half of football, but especially a second half, uh, that that's flat out amazing. So credit goes to the defense making adjustments and uh, just playing just playing really really well uh, the last thirty minutes on uh, on today's in today's game.